What do you get when you combine habit building techniques with Metallica? That's right, Habitica. Where are you going? No, Michael, no. <sighs> All right, fine. Continue. Okay, so seriously, let's talk about a application that I'll, I'm I'm really digging, and it's called Habitica, which is basically how to gamify your life. So, what is Habitica? Habitica is a free habit building and productivity app that helps you treat parts of your life as if it is a game. And Habitica can help you achieve whatever kinds of goals you like to do. Maybe you want to improve your work life. Maybe you want to you know improve healthy habits. Just anything else that you want to do. For people who want to know what gamification is, kind of the idea, this is an RPG. Yes. First of all, it's built in. But let's say you want to do something like you want to create a healthy habit of you want to eat more grapes. So you would put a task of eating more grapes. And if you accomplish that, you get to reward yourself with little items you achieve. It's so cool because you get rewards for doing these tasks. You turn your life into a little bit of a video game. You get to accomplish some of the things you like at and the same time. And another thing about gamification, there's a lot of people who would talk about doing gamification and suggest you create your own approach. And as someone who doesn't want to do that, this is fantastic because you don't have to build out the point system or anything. It's all there for you. And that's why I'm a big fan of this thing. Plus, it also works on multiple different types of your devices. So if you want to play this or play this game on uh, your phone, you can do that like Ryan does. Or you can uh, use a desktop or a laptop with a web app like I do. It works on Android and iOS and as well as any web browser you want to. You mentioned not having to create your own point system. Mm -hmm. This was a big deal. I didn't want to sit there and try to assign points to these tasks. I don't know, but this allows you to easily be able to do that, organize it, and something you can visually see that you carry around with you all the time, whether it's on your phone or your desktop, you can have Habitica there. Like that would be enough for me. And it was because I did sign up without knowing this. Yes. And then I found out this is an open source project. That's right. This entire thing is open source software. Plus, they even release the graphic assets as Creative Commons. So even that's open source. So this is fantastic, and you should definitely check it out if you are looking for a solution for doing to-dos. Freaking open source. How awesome is that? Right? It basically starts off as a to-do list solution. You put in the tasks that you want to do normally, like you would anyway, but it also has a system for habit building and daily tasks. Now, this is where the gamification comes in, depending on where you put your tasks. So you get rewards in the form of in-game gold by completing tasks which you can use to buy items in for your inventory or to use in quest. And if you do not complete certain types of tasks, you will be punished. The biggest element is the daily system. If you put a task in your dailies, now it doesn't have to be a daily thing. You can actually do it once a week or put it in once a month, but it will automatically repeat for that. But you have to do it the day it says it needs to be done. Otherwise, you get punishment for it. And this could be a loss of HP, or it could also be taking damage from the boss specifically if you're in a boss battle. And if you put tasks into the daily and you do not complete them, then you're going to have these issues. And if you do complete them, then you get gold, XP, and you can also damage the boss back when you make you make some completions of your tasks. Now, that's just a brief breakdown of the gamification structure, but let's talk about more a little bit about the gaming elements. So you get a character you create, and it has a health bar and XP level. And every time you level up in your XP, you replenish your health bar. So if you do get damaged, you can quickly do it by doing more tasks. And be, you can also buy potions to get health potions if you have gold already. So it's not like you have to complete a task if you're busy so, someday. But it, you can find weapons and armor and all sorts of stuff. And you could also use the gold to, you know, com when you're completing the task, to purchase items in the market. And you can even cr purchase custom rewards if you want to create them. So you can assign a value to them however you want. You can make it really expensive or you make it really cheap. And for my, in my case, after I earn enough, it does take quite a lot, like 100, I think. Then I get to reward myself with ice cream. Nice. And that's a, if for those who are familiar with our podcast, ice cream is a, it's that's kind a of a. treat for you. Yeah. It, it's what kind of ice cream do you reward yourself anything with? Anything at all. But what's your favorite? People need That's, to know. That is too hard to choose. It's too I mean, personal. Like, yeah. I'm getting way too personal, aren't I? You don't just give somebody exactly. you don't know their, your favorite ice cream flavor. That's way too personal. I mean, I can give you a list of top 10, but I can't even just pick one. Yeah, but there's a lot of cool stuff about it. And I think that this the daily system is really kind of a pro tip. And that is a thing to make sure that you put in the daily system what you really want to make sure you do. Like, if you... Tell yourself, if I don't do this, I need to punish myself in the game. 
that's where you put in the daily. If you're just getting started and you're not really sure of what you need to do at that kind of that kind of level, you don't have to put it in the in the daily section. You can put it in the habit section where you still want to be able to do something on a frequent basis, but not be damaged or punished if you miss it. Also, I found out today, if you miss multiple days in a row, the damage gets worse and worse and worse. And I have one task in my dailies that I have never completed since we started using it. So it is super damaging me every single time. Is that one task, do not procrastinate today? (laughs) (laughs) No. I mean, if you want to talk about what task it is, it's amazing because doing this video accomplishes this task. It's to do a video on your channel. It's to do a video on my channel. And... So we're accomplishing it, and I get to check it off as soon as we're done recording, and I can't wait for that. So technically, it is do not procrastinate. Just don't procrastinate well, on making a video. Well, on a specific item, yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but you can even like create your own pets and mounts and stuff, so you find these e- like eggs you can hatch. Oh, with you different... look so lame next to me, because I have a dragon, and I'm oh, riding yes. on like a tiger. What's great is that he had when we first started, he had tons of cool stuff really quick. And I had nothing. And I found this really colorful armor. And I just like, no, I'm keeping this forever. And then I also had a sword. And for weeks, that's all I did. It was just that. Versus his, you'll stand him next by next side by side. Character looked like Rainbow Bright with a sword. Also, the pet system thing. I didn't think I would care about that. And then I just started, I was like, you know what? I'll do it. And then You are so cold hearted. You don't care about pets? The little baby eggs that you hatch and make little panda bears and kittens and stuff to follow you around. And then you feed them snacks like candy bars and stuff and try to figure out which snack they like so that they grow faster. I'm going to say something. Monster. I'm going to say something that's kind of funny and also a little sad. I was afraid if I didn't feed it, it would die like a Tamagotchi. (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. You didn't want the responsibility. Did you put it as a task to feed your pet? Yes. And that is an accomplishment. (laughs) Yes. All right, there you go. And I did feed it. Now, it turns out when you feed it, it will become a mount eventually. Yeah. It's a complicated thing, but at the same time, when you get started, it's not that hard. It's just a to-do system. You don't system. have to know all that to do any of that. Yeah. You could just learn the stuff as you go, which is this, cool. You don't have to do anything else that you don't want to other than yeah. put tests in there. This is a course of like a month, I think, we've been using it. Yeah. So it's... It's a fantastic application, so check it out. Links in the, in the description. So you can pay for a premium service, and what this unlocks is the ability to get some extra awards and quests and things. Plus, I want to support an open source software. Yes. So it's a win-win. It's not very expensive. It's a little small monthly fee. But it also is, as a pro tip, I wanted to pay for it because I knew I'd use it. If yes. I saw monthly money coming out of my account, I was like, I know I'm going to open this thing. And because I have somebody else who's relying on me not to die from the terror dactyl, like I need to get in there and get my task completed. Oh, yeah. And so some of the things I do is I wanted to make sure that I was taking all the vitamin supplements personally and protein shakes and things that I do and workouts and stuff. So I put all of that in there. But I also put tasks that are work related in there. If there are certain things and behaviors that I want to change and they're constant reminders. And again, when you don't do them, you take some damage. So you're constantly thinking throughout the day. I've noticed my habits have changed to open the app and see what's going on, what I haven't accomplished. And then I get those things accomplished. Whereas a lot of times before I would keep putting it off till it was at the end of the day and never get those things done before gamifying these habits. So it's really good if you're somebody who wants to set some goals, has a problem creating habits and hitting them. It's a really good system for that. And also, I think a very key point is the doing it with someone else, making it possible that you're doing a you're being responsible to each other. I think it will help a lot of people if they want to join this application. And, you know, if they want to party up with their friends or join a guild, that is a a good way of making sure that you're you're self accountable but you're also helping other people be accountable to themselves as well because you know it's like the same thing when you go to a, you go to the gym and you work out by yourself that's great but it's more fun and more engaging when you have someone there with you because it just you know you can have How have you liked going to the gym with me by the way have you enjoyed that process My arms hurt <laughs> things that you've been putting off that you need to get done, put them in the app. And the great thing is you can assign tasks from easy all the way to hard. You're going to get more points for completing hard ones, and it's an honor system. So if you're like, oh, I want to take three steps a day, and I assign that as hard, I mean, you could, but you're just cheating yourself. But those are some of the cool things that you can do there is you can assign difficulties to these tasks as well. And you can also, we're talking about using for your personal life and for work life and for whatever you want, use tags. This has tags to organize your tasks, and it's very valuable. 
every time I do a work task, I always put a, a work thing and also uh, different types of like health stuff or just personal things that I want to do. I just love this gamification idea of my life. It's an RPG and it's freaking awesome because it's about the only game I have time to actually play anymore. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If you are interested in checking out, be sure to go to Habitica.com and we'll have the link in the show notes. We'll also have a link to the guild that we created if you would like to, you know, battle Join bosses us. with us. Yeah. Yeah. The more we have in the, the guild, the more powerful bosses we can We're take down. So powerful. And so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, then help me out by smashing the like button so we can fight the evil bosses together that we also call the almighty algorithm. Yeah. That, you yep. can even add it to your task list to, that you hit the smash button. Exactly. And get your first points. Exactly. Okay. And also be sure to add to your list of dailies to go to the DOS Geek channel and get more content from Ryan. And if you want some more content from us making stuff together, we have our podcast that I think you will love. We have Destination Linux and Hardware Addicts on the Tux Digital Network. And of course, you can also subscribe to this channel to see beyond surface level with Tunnel Vision. Nice. That's the first time I came up with that one you got, today. You got your new little closer there? I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but it's I do not, like it. It's I do. not bad with Tunnel Vision. <laughs>